What country do we live in that a baby, a baby fleeing violence with her mother, seeking asylum in our country, that this baby ends up dead? Dozens of protesters carrying tea lights gathered in front of the immigrant detention center in Elizabeth to demand justice for a Guatemalan toddler they'd never met. Marie Juarez died at a hospital here in New Jersey after being released with her mother, Jasmine, from an ICE detention center in Texas this March. Together, they had crossed the southern border seeking asylum, but got locked up. And within a week, Marie got very sick. She ran a fever of 104 degrees, and still she was not brought to the hospital. She was put on a plane. Um, and, and arrived here uh, to reunite with her family in New Jersey and was almost immediately taken to the hospital. Marie died of a raging bronchial infection and hemorrhage with her mother at her side. CoreCivic, a private company contracted to operate the center in Elizabeth, also runs the Texas Center that detained Marie and her mom. In a letter, the family has announced it intends to sue for negligent supervision and wrongful death, charging Marie's tragic death resulted from the unsafe and unsanitary conditions in immigration detention at the South Texas Family Residential Center in Dilly, Texas, and the inadequate substandard medical care Marie received there. This is a dysfunctional system where people's lives don't matter, where children's lives don't matter. No human being should be locked up in ICE custody and not have proper medical care as we continually, continuously see. In a statement, CoreCivic said it does not provide medical or mental health care services or staffing at the facility. The federal government's ICE Health Service Corps is solely responsible for contracting staffing and oversight of any medical and mental health services. ICE had no comment because of pending litigation. Justice for Marie. Justice for Marie. It is our responsibility to fight for, for justice and to fight for, for Marie. We are here to support her. We are here to fight for her because she is no longer here. Her mom needs so much of our support right now. Protesters wrote notes of sympathy and encouragement for Marie's family and tacked them up to cards they'll send to her mom. Marie died on Mother's Day. Her mom is still here with family in New Jersey. She's applied for asylum. In Elizabeth, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.